I love the concept of being chosen by a kid because I love the thought that they're being empowered. That it's not just it's not just somebody that's come in and reached out to them, but they're actually able to say, no, this is who I'm choosing. And I just love whenever we, anywhere, that we're able to actually empower kids and say, no, you're powerful and you can do something. And, and just for them, their ability to choose someone, I just love that concept. You know, I think for me, I think the Bible's really clear that we are put into a family, that God is a father, we have brothers and sisters, and it's actually a family that we're a part of. So I think the whole kingdom concept is, I am part of a family. Personally, I have two adopted brothers, so I know what it is to truly bring someone into your family and choose yeah. them. Like, and to me, they're no different than a biological sibling. Yeah. But it's, it is, I, I look at them and think, you know, like, my parents had to keep me. But they, they met you and chose to keep yeah. you. Here's oh, Oh, come on. <laughs> I loved seeing him go in the midst of all the other families <laughs> and pick us. I really was moved getting to see his mom talk about the rest of his family and yeah. that he got to choose us, but knowing that there's more to him even, yeah. that it's a whole family. I just, there's so much, I just look at, I look at him and just think, man, man you're gonna change the world. Yeah. There's a call of God on your life and you're gonna change the world. Mm -hmm. And I love that. Jesus, we just pray for Cedric. We're so grateful that you've connected us and Lord, we just speak blessing on him. God, he's got a call in his life. He's gonna change the world. And so, Lord, I just pray for him and his mom and his family, for that whole community. God, that you would do something significant in their lives. Mm -hmm.